Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new system coming out in patch 6.2.1. You heard it correct, it, there's going to be an extra patch after 6.2, which makes me very excited that they're going to be bringing in more content to Warlords Jenner. I'm liking the system right here, what they've gotten so far. So far they're bringing in flying in 6.2.1, but most of all, 6.2.1. In development, PvP Mercenary Mode, Cross-Faction PvP in Battlegrounds, Random Battlegrounds, and Ashran. This makes me very excited. Now let me explain exactly what is PvP Mercenary Mode. An NPC will spawn in either Horde or Alliance Ashran Zones, Storm Shield or War Spear, and they'll give you an option to become a mercenary to fight for the other faction, and you'll be able to queue Ashran or Battlegrounds for the other faction. You'll take on the disguise for the other faction, and you'll be able to play with the Horde Brethren or Alliance Brethren, whatever you want to do. In random Battlegrounds, nothing raided, and in Ashran. For now, queues for Alliance are much, much higher than it is for Horde, so Blizzard wants to allow players to be able to play almost queueless because they will be able to swap for the other faction. This way, players will be able to get into Ashen more often and BGs more often, and both Alliance and Horde players will be able to kind of spread out all over the place and play their favorite battlegrounds with all the other players, no matter what your faction. You're not going to be restricted by a queue, you're going to be able to play with everybody as either Red side or Blue side, Horde side or Alliance side, and question to me is, do you get to keep your racial, which I hope you do. So Alliance, uh, as a human rogue, I really value the playstyle that I have, but maybe like as a determined an orc, maybe I get an orc racial, which I think would be unique as well. But I'm hoping you get to keep your racials, but you will just simply have a disguise of the other faction. I think it would be really cool to see this in the game. And uh, I'm very excited for it. So right now I want to talk about some concerns that came out from the comments, forums, and you guys might have the same concerns, and I'm going to give a rebuttal for that. Uh, for the concerns with my own thoughts and opinions and then I'm going to make a final statement of what I think about this and why I think it's great. Uh, kind of giving it all away here, aren't I? Alright, so first thing is, people think that this is going to kill faction, you know, I guess, fac whole fac you know, faction versus faction, uh, r and r RAR fights, you know, the whole oh, for the Horde, for, for Alliance, kill the Alliance scum kind of deal, you know, this whole Shindik and Shibang that World of Warcraft has grew upon this Alliance versus Horde conflict. First of all, I think it's not going to ruin it. Alliance and Horde conflict is still going to be in the game, it's just you get to disguise as the other faction. This is Blizzard, some of Blizzard can use in order to counteract the fact that Alliance has much, much longer queues in the game and Horde is getting shorter queues because most players that do PvP swapped over to the Alliance or have made and gone, uh, gone and made an Alliance tune to play PvP instead of on the Horde side. So this is why Horde is getting faster queues and Alliance is getting longer queues. The system will not only allow people to queue more often and be able to play, you know, more games, more PvP, more BGs, and even even more Ashran, it'll diversify the community a little bit. It'll take some of the players from the Horde and Alliance and kind of scrounge everybody together. And I think it'll be great. First of all, it'll unite the community that's playing on both sides of the faction in order to be able to play with each other in unrated PvP where it's pretty casual and just overall, you know, just PvP, it's just random battle, random battle guns, nothing too crazy, nothing too, uh, you know, hardcore, it's just good old fashioned fun. Second thing is a lot of people have said, well, the reason why there's such this bouncing is because of the human racial, and because the human racial alliance is doing so much better in PvP instead of the Horde. To that I would say, it doesn't matter for the racial as much as for the expansion and just the way the metagame works. Back in Pandaria, I remember everybody wore Horde. All the high rated players were on the Horde side because Horde had way better racials. It was hands down proven fact. Right now, in World of General, Alliance has better factions. I mean, better racials. So I really feel like it's not racial disbalancing whatsoever because it simply just depends on the metagame. Depends how the game is played, what kind of game you have, is the C base, is the damage based, and how trinkets work, how all the other abilities work, how racials work, and everything. I simply think it's just. Just the way the game is and the metagame is, so you can't really blame Racials for it. If a Horde literally were dominating in Pandaria, and all the top players were on Horde side, while in Draenor, most of the top players have to go Alliance for extra damage, extra benefits that Alliance does provide, or Alliance Racials do provide. So I really don't think it's about human Racials, I really don't think it's a game breaker, because Pandaria has shown us it is not, when most players were playing Horde. Even though they had the human Racial, same exact Racial, same exact stuff, but they were choosing on purpose to play Horde set because Horde was simply better. Because that how that's how it was for the metagame at the time. And that is my best rebuttal. That is my best thought about it. Because it just... It, 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 a lot of people say that it is better when it wasn't. But most players, back in Mr. Pandaria, I had faster queues in Alliance when everybody were Horde, trying to play people for Horde because Horde was simply better. Horde was winning more BGs. And Alliance, you pretty much just had to queue into AV or Isle of Conquest if you wanted to win some games. 
simply just how it was, and just you can't really blame the players, can't really blame the racials, you just have to look at the metagame and say, hey, it is different right now than how it was way back in the day. That's all you can really do about it. So, also my two rebuttals, and final thoughts is, I'm very excited for this. I'm happy Blizzard is flipping the tables and scripts and changing the game in such an interesting way. Makes me so happy to see this kind of change happening to the game, and I'm excited! I really do want to support it, and I want to see this work. I'm definitely going to play more Horde and Alliance BGs on my main tune. I would love to see what kind of character they turn me into, especially on Ashen or BGs. Plus, I'll be able to play with more of my subscribers that are Horde side or Alliance side. It doesn't matter who it is. I'll be able to play with more people, and I think I'll be able to connect with more players of the community. Not just connecting everybody on the Alliance side of Darkspear. I'll be able to also see fans on the opposite faction, and I think it's just unique experience. So for me, maybe this experience might be a little bit bigger because I do have a YouTube channel and a, a community that follows uh, every, you know, what I do, my videos and everything. So maybe I do have a benefit in that. But I feel like overall it'll bring people together. It'll be a lot more fun. It'll be a crazy new thing for everybody to try. Especially with the fact that this is the last patch of the game and everybody was thinking there was going to be no more content. I feel like this is content. I feel like it's kind of fun, it's kind of cool, it's kind of unique. And I want to see this happen. I want to see this happen. So if you guys want to check it out, check it out on the PTR. Download the PTR if you have a Blizzard account. Check it out for yourself. I don't know if I will because, you know, all the add-ons and transfer and all the information and all that jazz. I don't jive with it all that well. But I'm definitely going to wait. As soon as this releases, I'm going to go ham. And hopefully you guys will too. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the immersion system. And I'll see you guys in the next video.